Good morning, YouTube. This is Larry with Pinup Amusements. I'm a pinball operator in Wyoming, and today we're going to talk about an upgrade to pinball machines that is paramount, especially for operators. Uh, it brings new life to your game, and it's, uh, it's just a great upgrade. It makes your games funner to play. What that is, is pin sound. I have talked about this before. I'm going to bring up a game that's a prime example to where it can benefit from pin sound, and that is NBA Fast Break. I'll do this as brief as I can. This is going to be nearly a 20 minute long video. So if you don't want to watch it, I completely understand. So today we're going to talk about the Pin Sound Plus and the Pin Sound Neo. The Neo is a stripped down version of the Plus, but it does all the same functions as any Pin Sound card would. It runs the shaker control kit and of course their speakers. Plus you can program your own sounds into the packs using a USB flash drive and a PC. So the Plus has an EQ system on it to gives you bass boost. It gives you treble boost. It's, this is definitely the one to go with. Ignore the Neo. Don't even act like it's alive because I did purchase this and I ended up replacing it with the Plus within an hour after I installed it on my fast break. Now the Neo works good for uh, like whitewater. I put it in my whitewater. It works good because the sound pack is... It's pretty stable across the frequencies. It doesn't have different songs popping in and out. If you're planning on making your own custom mixes, absolutely go with the Plus. If you're planning on using factory sounds, the Neo would probably suffice. Anyways, enough on that. The other thing you need to get is you need to get Audible on your computer for being able to trim down your sound packs and uh, cut the fat out of the sounds. And plus you need to normalize all your volume for your sounds. I do 50%. Uh, whatever you choose, just make sure that all of your music is normalized to the same percentage. Also, uh, you're going to want to have uh, your Pin Sound Studio installed on your computer. It helps. You don't have to have it, but it helps. Kerry Hardy has a great video on how to set these sound packs up. I'm not going to get into it. Go to his website or go to his YouTube channel and watch that video. And he pretty much nails it to the board. The only thing he didn't mention in there is you need to save these files as 44.1 for quality, not 128, not 96. My pin sound board would not recognize anything except 44.1 on quality. And they do have to be wave files. So keep that in mind. Now, on these games, I have the sub installed. I have the speakers installed. And this one has the plus in it with my EQ setup perfect. I will give you a video demonstration on the original sound pack and my modified sound pack. And you can take it from me on how much this changes the game. I am not a sports fan at all. I don't like the NBA. I've never watched a basketball game in my life. However, I love that game, my wife loves that game, and it's gonna go great in the sports bar location that we purchased it for. And with help from Penn Sound, anybody can have a good time on that game, whether they hate sports or not. So this is a game changer for these older games. So this is the original sound. Now let's go to the remix. You see the difference. Fast Break Remix. Yeah, I got about 20 different songs spread out on this one. So whatever ones play is completely random, but they all had to match, right? Get ready for some prime time basketball. Take your team.
Come on. Can't get any good shots. Yes, 10 points, wow. Slam dunk, dude. Oh. oh, right down the drain. There's the dunk. There's the dunk. Almost. There it is. Oh, blew that one. Down the drain. There you have it. That is a $500 upgrade, probably about six with speakers. And it is a game changer. And it's very important for operators because you need to have your game be the best game that anybody can find. And when they play a game like this and they, they have a great time, they will always remember it. And they'll hopefully come back to play pinball over and over and over again. One of the advantages of these old Williams games is they are simple to follow. The rule sets are basic, yet they're hard to master. Then you have games like The Mandalorian that can sit right beside it that are incredibly hard. I can tell you from experience, these old Williams games, these guys, they, they just keep bringing in the bread. So take care of them, modernize them, make them cool, and you'll see your profits go up and you'll also see more and more people get into the pinball hobby and that's what this is all about right having fun anyways thanks for watching this video and i hope that you do invest in a sound card and if you do post a video or post a link i'd love to watch it there needs to be more videos of people upgrading their sound cards so people can see what their game can do uh carrie hardy once again he has some pretty good beta on sound cards as well on his channel. So I do recommend that you go there and subscribe to him as well. Thanks for watching my video.